Hi everyone, this is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to give you a quick peek at the newly revamped Somerset Studio magazine. This is a magazine that's published by Stampington and Company. Uh, it's been around for a really long time and I remember when I first started stamping and doing collage art and paper crafts, I saw this magazine and thought this is the type of art that I'm really interested in that inspires me, this is what I'd like to make. So it's been a huge inspiration to me for many, many years. And I've also been extremely honored to have been published in several of the magazines over the years. So like always, Somerset Studios got tons of art pieces, samples, and examples for you. This particular issue, which is May, June, and July 2019, has over 100 pieces of artwork for you. They've also added some more artist papers, which are papers that you can remove and use in your own artwork. And they've now also added some worksheets and some prompts, which are really fun. I'll show you some of those. And like always, there's artist profiles and this particular issue has a focus on books, handmade books and altered art books and things like that. So we're just going to take a quick flip through just to show you, you know, it's got the great examples in it and it's also got these really beautiful artist papers. Like I said, these are a little bit thicker than the regular magazine pages. And when I use these, I just take my X-Acto knife and just kind of run it along the spine just to be able to remove it from the magazine. So they have the art samples, but then there's also these areas where they give you ideas like to do paint swatches or different paint techniques, and you can do it right in the book which is really fun, or if you want to, you could also remove the pages. So I played along with some of the worksheets. Um, I really loved this Little Houses from Kathy Mark. Uh, she created these really fun little simple house shapes with just a triangle and a square, but they're really, really fun and e but easy to do and a really great way to use up your scraps. So I went to my giant pile of scraps <laughs> and made a couple of houses at the top here with some old like lace, canvas, cardstock. I just used a strip of ribbon to like for the little road. Also had some really fun pre-printed transparencies. I cut out some little windows and layered the shapes up with just a little bit of torn paper at the bottom. So this is just a really great way just to kind of maybe get you working on something that maybe you wouldn't normally work on. Uh, another one I played around with was this um, stenciling prompt which was really cool. I am by no means an artist. I am not good at hand drawing. It's very intimidating. So uh, the prompt that I chose was 17, draw shapes on your page, stencil only inside the shapes. I love mermaid, so I drew a really funky, don't judge me, a really funky mermaid's tail coming out of the water. And then I used a stencil and some distress ink to color in the water and the mermaid's tail. And I had a fun stamp that said, let's be mermaids. So I thought that was kind of cool. And again, something that I normally wouldn't do. The next prompt that I really liked were these kind of hand-drawn, painted and doodled flowers. Again, I'm not an artist. I'm very intimidated by draw hand drawing, but I'm really happy with the way that these came out and I definitely will be doing this again. So it's a really great example of just lay some paint down, draw some stems, add a second color, doodle over top with a white gel pen and so these were my examples. And again, I'm really happy with the way these turned out. I definitely will be uh, using this on a project. I just used watercolors and a white gel pen. I thought that came out really nice. And one of the projects in the magazine that really inspired me was this gorgeous kind of bird and nature themed book from Lisa Mallet. She made a, like a hand bound book and she's got a lot of really beautiful pages in it and they share a lot of her pages in the magazine. She's used like butterflies and birds and moths and nests. And this page in particular really inspired me. So I decided to kind of make my own take 
on her page with what I already had. So she took a piece of watercolor paper and did a really light watercolor wash over it. Some vintage music sheet that I tore out, kind of inked the edges, and then I had this really great image from a vintage children's book, and I added the spread your wings text. I also added this butterfly in the corner. She had like a little moth on hers and added a little, little bit of drawing on the bottom. And I'm really, really happy with the way that that turned out. So I just wanted to share a quick look with you. I'm really excited about all the new changes that they've made. It has everything that you kind of come to expect from Somerset Studio with gorgeous examples and artwork. But I'm really excited about the prompts. They're so much fun. They really give you kind of a way to maybe do something that you haven't tried before. Or like I said, I'm terrible at drawing, but I was thrilled with my little doodle flowers and how they came out. So it's not definitely not something that I would have done on my own. So I hope you enjoyed taking a quick look at the revamped Somerset Studio magazine. It is available on the Stampington and Company website or you can also pick it up at your local bookstore. So I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Heather. I'll see you next time. Bye!